big stomach of Southern Baptists lost their minds when a black man was elected president. Not all, but some. So we know going into the scenario that we're dealing with messy, unclean, world flesh influenced people and scenarios. Do we come in like the Lord who says, come unto me all you that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest? Or do we come in like the Pharisees and the scribes murmuring in Luke 15, 1 and 2? Tone is going to matter, brothers and sisters. And I guess I'm something that was just bent over and became political whores. And this whole Trump stuff. Well, abortion minded men and women think of your church in the tone of Jesus or in the tone of the Pharisees and the scribes. So this idiot Kevin Smith, and yes, I will refer to him as an idiot because his mindset regarding race and tone make absolutely no sense. So he took it upon himself to attack Southern Baptists who support Donald Trump when he himself openly admits as a professing Christian that he supports Barack Obama who is or was a practicing Muslim. So this so-called Christian, so-called Christian man Kevin Smith who claims to be a Christian is against Donald Trump who is a professing Christian and in turn supports a Muslim and thinks the Southern Baptists have a problem. Now, I'm not saying that Donald Trump is a full-fledged Christian, a true Christian, but what I will say is, he's most likely the closest thing we've had to a Christian in office in a long time. Kevin Smith is a full-fledged racist. That is my opinion on this man. I guarantee you when this man is home alone, he is using all kinds of derogatory terms towards white people. Anyone this focused on race and color has a lot of hate in them. And the truth is, from my perspective, I really wish men like this would just completely drop the title of Christian. Just stop calling yourself a Christian, uh, become a full-fledged freedom fighter or a social justice advocate, anything, but just stop calling yourself a Christian. The SBC allowing men like Kevin Smith to speak at their conference lets you know what their agenda really is, and it's not the gospel. And because of this, I cannot wait for the SBC to divide and to split, because reformation has to happen or it will not survive.